in music to Let's Make a Choir and a happy St. Patty's Day to you as well. I am thrilled that you have joined us for some beautiful singing tonight and uh, I have a feeling we're just going to celebrate for sure. Perhaps you've been enjoying some Irish stew today or maybe some green libations. I will definitely ask St. Patrick for, to bring all of us good luck in the coming days ahead. Sectional rehearsals began earlier today for our tenors and basses. The live soprano sectional rehearsal will take place on Thursday, March 18th at 10.30 a.m. And the live alto sectional rehearsal will take place on Friday, March 19th at 12.30 p.m. All of the sectional rehearsals and regular rehearsals are archived on our Facebook page. Just scroll down on the news feed to find any of the earlier rehearsals. As well, rehearsals are being archived on our YouTube playlist and choir members can access these at any time. Let's start uh, by getting our voices warmed up and our bodies tuned and ready for singing. So first of all, we're just gonna do a little stretching exercise. I like to call this one climbing a ladder. And in this exercise, we'll be like a bit like a mime, and we're going to just grab the rungs of the ladder and stretch as high as we can. And once we're there, open up your hands and take a deep breath in. And then slowly bring your arms back down to your sides. Give yourself a little shake, and we're going to do it all again. So here we go. So we're going to climb the ladder one rung at a time, 
stretching. We're, once we reach the top, we're going to take a deep breath in. Feel that natural expansion and slowly come back to your sides as you exhale and still try to feel that nice expansion around your torso. And with that, I think we're going to get right into some singing right away. The first exercise I'd like to look at tonight is one that we've sung before, Ja Jo Ju. Just our five note descending scale, very gentle. Ja Jo Ju. So I'll just count to two and we'll give this a go. One. Two, ja, jo, ju. One, two, ja, jo, ju. We'll do one more. One, two, ja, jo, ju. It's so good to see everybody here tonight. I can see people arriving, and I hope that everybody's having a very, very lovely day. I love seeing the little shamrocks and the little uh, Irish hats, the, the buckles on them as well. Definitely puts us in the mood for spring. Next up, we're going to get ourselves buzzing. So we're going to get lots of resonance working as we zing and zaw. So give as much Z as you can as we sing this. Zing, 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 za, za. And again, I'll count to two. One, two. Zing, 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 za, za. Two. Zing, 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 za, za. Once more. Zing, 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 za, za. Next of all, we're going to do a little siren exercise, which is what we call a range expander. So it just helps us kind of get up and through our ranges. I find often humming is easier to manage higher notes that we might be able to sing that we might not always be able to do. So we're going to just go through the octave like this. Try to still feel your tummy muscles working as we do this as well. Here we go. So I'll breathe in to two counts. One, two. Mm -hmm. We'll keep going. Next one we're going to do is going to work on those high notes and in this exercise we'll just touch the high notes and come right back down as we sing the word show. So I'll just do a little demo once. Show. Let's try that together a few times. One, two. Show. One, two. Show. And one more. One, Two, show. So the last one we're going to work on today is one we've done uh, in the past, but just slightly a little bit of a different uh, difference to this particular one. We're going to sing shoy yoy yoy, and normally we would make our mouths move quite a bit, but we're going to make our tongue do all of the work in this one. So we're just going to kind of stroke our beard. Shoy yoy 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 yoy. That's basically how it goes. It's a little bit jumpy as well, so we're going to start in our high range first, middle, low, middle, low, and it just goes like this. So if you can, try not to move your mouth too much as we shoy oy oy. Again, I'll count to two. We'll maybe do this one three or four times. One, two. Shoy oy 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 oy. One. Two. Shoy, oy, 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 oy. And we'll do one more. Shoy, oy, 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 oy. Better do one more. Shoy, oy, 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 oy. And I think that's a good warm up for our voices. We should be ready to go here. I was going to say, uh, I'll try to do this after the choir rehearsal is over. 
Uh, John McDermott uh, and friends have done a beautiful, beautiful St. Patrick's Day presentation, which is on YouTube. Um, and I had the link. I'll just I have to put it on the Facebook page. If, you, if you've seen it already, you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, uh, it might be a lovely way to close out your St. Patty's Day. Uh, there are some Irish step dancers fiddling. Uh, it's just quite an amazing uh, little production. So uh, I'll put that up on our Facebook page. And if you've been following and wonder what on earth is this virtual vocal symposium uh, that Michael is sharing on the Facebook page in Newfoundland, there's this amazing music festival. Uh, all young people, I believe ages 6 to 17, uh, the last two days they've been singing Newfoundland folk songs, Irish songs. It's quite an incredible journey. Uh, Sunday and Monday they were doing classical voice. Uh, it's going to go to musical theater and popular voice. And I think it runs right to the 22nd. So if you see me sharing those videos, they are only live for that particular moment. They are, they're not archived videos. And I'll just tell you, if you want to hear some good singing, the East Coast is doing it right. That is for sure. So, as always, I do have a couple of corny jokes that I'd like to share with you. And I do hope that they will bring you a little smile or an eye roll. And uh, so this particular one I thought was uh, very appropriate for St. Patty's Day. The bartender said, your glass is empty. Want another one? I asked him, why would I want two empty glasses? And I know you are all laughing heartily at that right now. The next one is only four words. Hypochondriacs are eventually right. <laughs> true, true, true. Well, from bad jokes to uh, some fantastic mu music, let's get to our March musical offerings. And we're going to start with Blessings. Blessings, composed by Laura Story in 2011, was written to describe how God will allow things that are not immediately understood to happen, but from the perspective that they are a means of spiritual growth. Let's now sing this deeply moving music and text. Blessings. Blessings come through rain. 
raindrops? What if your healing comes through tears? What if a thousand sleepless nights are what it takes to know your need? powerful piece of music for sure well now that we have gotten ourselves into a nice reflective mood hello there everyone nice to see everybody here as well uh we're going to move on to something a little more quick moving now composed in 2014 by sarah borellis and jack antonoff the selection brave is an infectious upbeat selection the message of honor and integrity for everyone and how brave it is to uphold these personal values is definitely inspiring and a good reminder for us all. In our two-part arrangement, sopranos and tenors can sing part one, altos and basses part two. Let's be brave together. Say 
Earlier today in our tenor and bass sectional, something that might be very helpful uh, because of the page flipping around that you have to do is on page 10, at the top of page 10 when it says DS Alcoda, you could maybe just mark down page three. And then if you go back to the top of page three, you'll see that funky looking sign, which is where we go back to. And then when we are singing on the top of page five, it says to Coda at the very end of that first line. And it's got like a little bullseye there. You might write, want to write page 10 there, and then that'll take you to the coda that's on page 10, which you'll see with the bullseye. And then it's up to you guys if you want to sing the optional solo or if you want to sing one of the part one or part two through to the very end. And do be aware, it says at 61, play three times. So we do sing that ending three times before we round it out. So hopefully that uh, explains a little bit about the, uh, the repeating sections of this particular piece. Okay, well, let's keep going. Composed in 1994 by Sir Elton John and Tim Rice, Can You Feel the Love Tonight has endured as a beautiful sentiment and a beautiful testament to love of all creation. Elton won the Grammy Award for Best Male Pop Vocal Performance with this song in 1994. Let's sing this superb arrangement by Keith Christopher. Just water, I swear. <laughs> and that's not the right one. But this is the right song. You might think I was having something other than water. <laughs> so the first page will have our ladies sing, and then the guys join in at the top of the second page. moment and it sees me through it's enough for this restless warrior just to be with you and can you feel the love Alcoda means return to the beginning, and we sing the second verse now. First page, we'll have our guys sing this page. There's a time for everyone, if they only learn that the twisting kaleidoscope moves us all in. And everyone joins in. There's a rhyme and reason to the wild outdoors. When the heart of this star-crossed voyager beats in time with yours. And can you feel the love?
I don't think I could ever tire that song either. I've been singing it, I think, for as long as it's been out. So a good 27 years. Well, I've said this story before. I'm going to say it a couple more times. A few weeks ago, I woke at 5.30 a.m. and just had to check my messages. And I know some of you know what that's like. The anthem, The Blessing, was suggested to me as music to listen to. And I've always enjoyed Heather Sorensen's arrangements. Within a couple of minutes, I was absolutely gripped by this powerful blessing. I hope you find the words, melody, and harmony wash over you like they did and continue to do for me. There are two vocal lines to follow, one for male, female solo, and the other for the chorus. You may uh, follow the solo lines or the chorus lines. I don't suggest trying to jump around to both. It can get a little bit confusing. So uh, whichever part, the, the tenor and, and alto solo, which is basically male and female solo are the top lines, and then the chorus, you'll see where they come in on the uh, bottom lines there. Uh, any of them are going to be absolutely fantastic because this is such a beautiful, beautiful piece. So let us sing the blessing together. And I often uh, am reminded of the prayer for St. Patrick, which are some of those words are within our blessing this evening as well. Uh, even the typeset at the top of the page has a, an Irish kind of a feel to it as well. So I feel very appropriate uh, that we can sing this this evening. Let's try the blessing now.
Powerful music for sure. Well, as we round out our St. Patrick's Day rehearsal, I'll leave you with a quote and a poem that have helped me a great deal this week. I hope that these words may resonate with you too. The first one is just one line, and uh, I say it so many times to myself, not just this week, but all the time. Your imagination is the key to your future. And the last word today comes from William Wordsworth's poem, Daffodils. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Yours in song, Michael. <laughs>